Uh, Kogan Alternative School, St. Joe, Missouri. Well, I mean, Free State's not an alternative school, so you know you get a little bit more freedom. It's a little laid back setting. It's not as all riled up. Um, Coach Warlock told me, you know, write about something deep, and I really didn't know anything else to write about. And I knew a lot of people here don't know what it's like to grow without a dad. So I think it was good that I informed people, you know what I'm saying? Because not everybody would know one day I may come to school mad or why I have an attitude, you know what I'm saying? Something it's just, now you know what's, you know what I'm saying, inside. Uh, it was, I mean, I really, it was hard, but then again, you don't have nothing to compare it to because it's not like he was there and then he left. So I could compare the two. It was like he, would, he wasn't there. So, I mean, it's just you got to be a man off what you see on TV and what you see other men do. And, you know, most of the time that ain't the best way to find out. As a kid, it was hard. I mean, it was easy, but she didn't have a stroke then. When I was a kid, you know what I'm saying, she was working a good job, so it was cool. Then when I was uh, 10 or 11, she had a stroke. And it's still, the severity of it still hadn't set in yet because I'm still young. But now that I'm 16, 17 now, living with her, knowing how much I eat, how much I need, you know what I'm saying, all the stuff I, uh, Need for her to do for me that sometimes she's not able to do. It's just like I just can't wait talking, you know, give it all back. It's hard. I didn't. Before I moved here, I was not positive at all. I was always in trouble. I told you I went to alternative school before I went here. And so I just had to get away. So I came down and lived with my grandma and it's been good since. Uh, that too, and because, you know, you only get to go high school once. Football is my everything, and you can't play football at, at an alternative school. And when I was in St. Joe, they weren't going back in public school. And uh came down here, and they said they were laying back in public school. So I just moved down here, and I got to stay positive for my grandma because she stays positive. You know what I'm saying? I can't hold her down. So that's why. Um, when I was younger, it shaped me to just be angry all the time and think I had an excuse. You know, uh, getting in trouble in school and at home, thinking that my excuse could always be, I don't have a dad, so didn't nobody tell me I couldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? That's just when I was young. Now it kind of shaped me to be like, uh, kind of to inform males my age and females too that have a dad or in other circumstances have something that they don't appreciate, just let, let them know that it couldn't have been there at all or it could leave at any moment. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to appreciate things that you have because some people don't have it. So uh, I think it shaped me out pretty well in the end.